What's up? This video is going to cover how to get more views using a tool that I use called vidIQ. If you're new to my channel, I currently have 32,000 subscribers and I have over 3 million views. And part of that is using vidIQ. Also, you know, of course, looking at my analytics and doing certain things. But it's not a mistake that I have this many subscribers and this many views. I want to show you a few different ways that I use vidIQ. If you don't know what vidIQ is, it's a tool that you can... Uh, install inside your browser. I'm using Google Chrome. There's an extension. So if you look over here, the basic version is free. And I do recommend doing this. Excuse me. I do recommend getting this version if you get no other version. And um, it basically gives you a few basic features. But I'm currently using the pro version. It cost me $7.56 a month using the yearly subscription. I think it's like maybe $10 if you pay monthly. But I will leave a link for it in the description. But let's go ahead and get into the, the whole thing here, all right? So I got vidIQ installed. Once you install it, you're gonna see this little thing at the top here. And um, you, know, you can see how many views I'm getting in the last 60 minutes, how many in the last 48 hours. And you know, this is a couple little things going on last seven days, uh, minutes watch. And how many subscribers, all right? So you can see all that right there at a glance. That's going to be on your free version too. But I want to go over here and show you a few things, all right? So if you look, there's all these little things that are put on my channel here. And that's because of vidIQ. And if you look right here, you know, you can see how many subscribers I have. But I want to cover like kind of three main areas. So the first area I do want to cover is channel audit. If you look right here, we got channel audit. Now, the good thing about channel audit is going to give you a few things that you can focus on and it's going to give you a bigger picture like at a glance. All right. It kind of breaks a few things down for you. Let me show you what I mean. Now, right here, you're going to see my views. My views are down minus 7.2 percent. All right. You know, you can see right there this month, you know, I'm at what? What is that? 315,000 views. Last month, it was 339,000 views. All right. So I'm down a little bit. So I'm not making this video to brag or anything like that. I'm making this video to show you how this could be a good tool. So I'm not too concerned about that. You can see I only came up 4,000 subscribers or 4,029 subscribers this month, where last month I came up 4,333 subscribers. All right. And then my watch time is down minus 2.3%. Now that's going to give you a big thing at a glance. Now you got to decide what you want to focus on because if you look right here, we got this area that says content to double down on. Now what this is going to show you is some of your videos that are getting a lot of views. Okay, so you can see views per hour right here. So these are my most popular videos right now. And then we got engagement rating right here. All right, more views, more subscribers gain. Now you can see a few other things right here. Total watch time, average watch time, retention, top playlist, and then the videos that are suggesting my videos. Now there's a few things you want to pay attention to like views per hour being one of them. So if I really wanted to like get more views, right? I would make more videos that are in this category, right? Because they're getting the most views per hour. So I would make more videos about, you know, connecting a mixer to an audio interface. I would make more videos about, you know, other audio interfaces and mixers. I would make more videos about the NPC beat software, um, more video about, you know, the PC and mixers, more videos about the Akai MPK mini. So if my main focus was to get the most views per hour, that's what I would be doubling down on. Now, on my channel, that's not necessarily the only thing I focus on, but it is something I want to focus on. One of the things I like to focus on is engagement. I want people to communicate and be engaged with my content. So I might want to do more of this right here. Okay, so we got this driver setup video. We got this toner Q9 USB microphone setup. We got this MPC Beat software setup tutorial, and we got this Akai MPK Mini unboxing video. So if I wanted some more engagement, you know, I would look at those videos and see, okay, why were these videos more engaging? And then I would try to replicate that. Now, if my goal was to get more subscribers, I would make more videos like these. Okay, so if I wanted to get more subscribers, clearly I need to do more MPC One videos, uh, more audio interface videos, NPC Beats videos, NPC One videos, NPC Live videos. So I would do a lot more NPC stuff if I wanted to get more subscribers. So these are things to keep in mind when you're trying to grow your channel. Um, you want to do certain things like this. Now I'm going to go ahead and close this. And clearly this is not a channel to 
grow your YouTube channel. I'm making this video for the people who watch my channel who might want to grow their channel and trying to give you a little bit of tips. All right, so, you know, obviously I put weekly videos to help you create music. This is a music making channel. I'm just trying to help some people out, all right? So let me go ahead and talk about another thing that I like. This is huge for me. So if you look over here, we got the vidIQ. This is what it looks like when you log in. Now, I'll come back to this, but I do want to go over this little tab right here with the magnifying glass. Now, I don't have the boost plan. I do have, you know, the second plan up. And again, I'll leave a link in the description for this. So if you do want to sign up for this particular plan with the keyword research, I do recommend doing that. So this is huge for me. So, for example, we went through that, right? We went through... Um, the videos that are getting the most subscribers. So say I wanted to get more subscribers, I would go MPC one. I would type that in and I would look on here and I would be like, okay, well, what are people actually looking for, for MPC one? And we can see, you know, how much search volume that's getting. So just MPC one is getting a lot of search volume, right? Now under here, we got tutorials. So I'll do more tutorials about the MPC one. So the MP one, sound so I could do videos about what sounds come with the MPC one and that would get a lot of views you see what I'm saying MPC one beat making so that's going to give me a lot of views if I go ahead and you know make a beat about MPC one beat making this right here is very important when you're making a video to get more views uh, you know you want to go ahead and find what people are actually searching for and if you got a high search volume that's probably going to be something to go ahead and you know make a video about now this can get a little complex but i'm just saying this is what people are actually searching for so if you want to make um, a video that people are interested in you know you make a video about these topics now if you just want to make a video to make a video that's fine too i make videos to make videos all the time not every video that you make needs to be to get views but if you want to get views you know this is a great tool to find what people are, you know, searching for. And what was the other one? Audio interface, right? That one video was giving me a lot of subscribers. So if I wanted to get more subscribers, I would put audio interface. All right, what are people looking for audio interface? They're looking for the best audio interface. So maybe I would talk about what the best audio interface is or the best budget one or the cheap audio interface or USB audio interfaces. So these are the things that I could kind of talk about on my channel to kind of get more views because apparently you know these are getting views on my channel so this is the second thing i like about vidIQ now let's go ahead and go back to this area right here where it says analytics so these are the analytics for my channel now of course youtube has its own very set of sophisticated analytics this is just giving me a, like a a point blank like overview of my analytics right so if you look right here it says youtube seo so if i made one of the videos about the YouTube SEO from this tab, you know, what I was just talking about in the last section, you know, this is kind of giving me data on that. So a lot of my views are coming from search before, you know, from people searching those topics. So that's how I'm getting a lot of my views. All right. Now, obviously I'm getting more suggestive views, which is a really great thing, but a good way to get views is to make videos about what people are actually looking for. And that's where vidIQ comes in. That's a great tool for that. Now, of course, that's part of the paid version, but I'll leave a link in the description for that if you do want that. Now, right here, it says YouTube overview. This is just giving me an overview of everything, you know, YouTube views, watch time minutes, YouTube likes, subscribers gained, subscribers lost. And, you know, clearly I'm losing subscribers, but I'm gaining them at a greater rate. All right. And then uh, YouTube comments. And again, if I wanted to increase any of these areas, I would just come over here and look at that channel audit. All right, this is giving me more subscribers. Maybe I'll do more videos about this over here. Or maybe uh, if I wanted more views per hour over here. All right, so there you go there. Um, and then we got some demographics. All right, so again, this is all stuff that you can find in YouTube as well. This just gives you a different picture of it, all right? And we can see my top videos here. We can see um, my top search terms. So apparently, if I made more videos about MPC Beats, I would be getting more views. If I did more videos about the MPC one, I'd be getting more views because that's what people are looking for. And that's what people are finding on my channel. You see what I'm saying? All right. Because these are topics that people are looking for. So if you make videos that people are looking for, you're going to get more views. 
So the thing about getting more views is releasing your videos when people are actually watching. So right here it says best time to post. This is what you want to use as well. This is in the pro version. It's not going to be in the free version. But right here it says Wednesday is probably going to be the best day for me to post. Probably somewhere, you know, before people start picking up. So these bigger bubbles mean people are watching more at that time. So about 5 p.m. If I release a video Wednesday before everything picks up, preferably, so probably about 8 in the morning on Wednesday is probably going to be the best time for me to post an actual video. Now, again, I do recommend you at least download the free version of this. I'll leave a link in the description. It's going to be an affiliate link. Check out that link. Even if you get the basic free version, you're brand new to YouTube, I recommend getting that. All right. And if you go to Pro, that's what I'm using. You're going to get those extra search engine features and stuff like that. But, you know, if you're not ready to spend money on it, you know, just get the basic one. I know there are people that um, watch this channel, even though it's a music channel. I know there's a select few people that watch this channel that are into YouTube and growing their channel. I'm just trying to help you out. That's what it's about. I'm just trying to help you out. So go ahead, check out the link. And if you want to start a YouTube channel and you have not started one yet, all right, I'm going to leave a video right here. It's going to be three reasons or three tips, three tips to start a YouTube channel, check out that video and it hopefully will help you out. All right, my name is Matthew. Continue creating your videos. We'll talk soon. Thanks for watching.